So I'm going to show you where you can find all of the information Facebook has about you that they use to sell to advertisers on the Facebook platform. It's pretty easy to find. Once you're logged in, you're going to go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash preferences, and it'll take you to this page. Don't worry, I'll put the link in the notes. Once you're on the page, you'll see your ad preferences. If you scroll down here, your first one are your interests. And these are based on things that you've liked, shared, commented on in the past. And you can see they're broken down by category. So you can see here, obviously, I'm in marketing. See marketing, digital marketing, entrepreneurship. Any of these that you, do not, that you do not want to be associated with, you can just X them out and you'll be removed from that advertising bucket. And if you scroll across here, you'll see news and entertainment, music, movies, plays, photography, guitars, and you'll see all of the buckets that, you, that you're on. You can see, and actually if you explain, uh, if you click the see more button, you'll see a lot more options. So you're, I'm actually in lots and lots and lots of different advertising buckets on here. So you can take some time, scroll through these and kind of cross yourself out for ones that you don't want to be associated with on here. There, some of them are very generic and vague uh, on here. And this is over the course of many years. You may have liked something or commented on something three years ago, and you're still showing up in that advertising bucket. So here you can see and you can edit what you want to be shown. The next section here are for advertisers you've interacted with. Uh, you can see here I've been through Target website. I probably like something on there. Uh, apps that you've used places you've visited, ads you've clicked on before. You can see Facebook stores all of that data. The next one down here, you'll see your information. And whenever you fill out your relationship status, employer, stuff like that, uh, it's not really for other people to see. It is so Facebook can put you in another advertising bucket for people that want to target specific employers, specific job titles, uh, specific uh, education levels. Uh, they may want to target people that are married, divorced, engaged. Uh, those are all advertising options. And you can see here, you can actually shut, you can shut these off. And you can also see, this is the first time I've actually been to this page in a very, very long time. And these are actually on by default. If you scroll down here, you'll see ad settings uh, based on websites and apps you used. And you can change your ad settings here and you can turn them on or off on here so you can change all your settings here and choose which ones that you want to do uh, this one's a bit disturbing ads on social actions uh, because this is by default it's actually targeting your friends as well so actions that you take uh, advertisers can actually show to your uh, they, they can use it to show to your friends as well on here so that one's a bit disturbing so i'm going to click no one and you can choose, I'm not sure if these are set ones or specific to my account, but you can choose to hide certain ad topics uh, indefinitely or for, for a certain amount of time. And if you want to learn how ads work, you can click on that link and it will show you more about how Facebook ads work. Okay, so this is where you can kind of take a peek at the data that Facebook has about you, and you can actually change some of the settings, which I encourage you to do. But it is in no way all of the information Facebook has about you. Facebook has a bunch of information about you based on the information you provide Facebook, your interest, what you click on, what you share, what you comment on. They record every single interaction you make on the platform, and they turn around and sell that information to advertisers on the Facebook platform. What's a little more disturbing is they also partner with large data brokers and they pair your information with real world outside information on the platform. And to give you an example, Axiom is one of the largest data brokers in the world. They are a partner with Facebook. So what happens with your information is Facebook will build a database of all of your information, your likes, your shares, They'll build a profile on you and then they'll turn around and they'll buy the they'll buy information from a, a data broker like Axiom 
and combine it with real world information. And the real world information is pretty scary because they know when you've purchased a house, they know when you've gotten a license, they know your voter registration preferences, they know your credit card purchase history, they know if you've donated to charity, they know if you've made large certain specific purchases before, if you guys just, if you just bought a car or something like that, they know all of that information. So what Facebook does is they take their information about Jane Doe and they pair it with data, with third party data broker data to match that Jane Doe together to form a really powerful data profile on a user. And then they turn around and sell that to advertisers on the Facebook platform for super detailed targeting options. So it's pretty scary if you're a user, it's a treasure trove of information if you're an advertiser, uh, but hopefully you'll come to this page and you will change your settings and kind of limit the access that Facebook is getting from you. So whenever you, some best practices for this to preserve your privacy, uh, never put, I wouldn't fill out this information, your marital status, employer, job title, education, interest levels. I would take those, I would leave those blank on there. And if you ever see notices from Facebook that says, you know, can you confirm your phone number? Can you confirm your education? What school you went to? Things like that. They're not asking you for any kind of uh, pleasant purposes. What is actually happening is they have information from a third party broker and they're trying to confirm if you are the Jane Doe that they have this third party information on. And if you can confirm it with a phone number, an email address or where you went to school, then they can pair it and then you'll be in even more advertising buckets on the Facebook platform. So the less information you can give Facebook, uh, the more, the less likely they're going to build, you know, that rich data profile on you. Another tip is when you use Facebook, I recommend that you use a different email account than you would normally use for your personal life or even business have kind of a disposable email account. Uh, email is the easiest way for them to match your information along with phone numbers uh, and things like that. So I would kind of keep those things separate. And if you're a mobile app user on Facebook, I would seriously consider not using it because that is probably the biggest invasion of privacy. When you give the, basically when you install Messenger or the Facebook app on your phone, you're giving them permission to mine your phone for your location data, your purchase behavior, if you're using online pay systems, uh, your contacts, they're taking all your contact information, they're recording your messages, they're, they're taking all the information off your phone. So it's, a, it's really a large invasion of privacy. So I would seriously reconsider uh, using the mobile app. So hopefully this showed you where you can find and edit your information and some tips on how to try to keep a semblance of privacy if you do prefer to use the Facebook platform. Thank you very much and have a good day.